Welcome to Remax Boulder video podcast. I'm Lori Kaufman, an agent at Remax Boulder. And with me today is Stephanie Miller with Live by Living. Stephanie is both a client and friend of mine. Thank you for being here today, Stephanie. My pleasure. Thank you. So Stephanie, tell us a little bit about Live by Living, the organization that you work for. Sure. So Live by Living, uh, we're a nonprofit, 501c3, and uh, we connect uh, cancer survivors, really any stage of their cancer journey and caregivers, with nature, with exercise, with community. Essentially, we lead uh, day trips, including hikes and walks or snowshoe trips and different kinds of outings. And we also lead retreats. And how did Live by Living get started? Uh, it was started uh, by a, a man named Dan Miller. He lost his wife to cancer, and something that they really loved doing together were these types of trips. Whenever she was between, between treatments, she would want to go for a hike or go, uh, well, the retreats, a lot of them are held at the 10th Mountain Division huts, and they would go there quite frequently with their friends. And sh shortly after she passed away, they had a retreat planned. It was while they were there that he realized he wanted to do something to honor her. And that's essentially how Live by Living came to be. What inspired you to work for the organization? I had been working in Manhattan and um, my dad was diagnosed with brain cancer. So I moved home to care for him and he passed away four months after his diagnosis. And I went back to my job for one day and thought, um, this isn't what I want to be doing with my life anymore. Mm -hmm. So as part of my own healing, I, um, I went on a pilgrimage and uh, did the Camino de Santiago, which is becoming quite well known. Um, ended up walking uh, through France and Spain and spent about a year living off of the land, connecting with nature, staying in various communities. And I found that walking really helped me process my grief. Um, so when I came back to the States, I realized that that was something that I also wanted to offer, you know, for people who might not be able to uh, do what I'd done, how to make it more accessible. Mm -hmm. And cancer had been really touched me. And so I decided to switch professions and came back for graduate school. And my first year in graduate school, I met Dan and he told me what he had created and it was in complete alignment with what I was hoping to do. What does a typical retreat look like? Typical retreat. So, as I said, a lot of times we, most of the, the retreats are held at the 10th Mountain Division huts. There are a few that we frequent. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, based on the size of the hut, we'll either be able to have, you know, it's usually about 16 people. Some of them can have 20. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll cook all the food and bring all the people's gear in. If someone's unable to do the hike for whatever reason, we have our truck that can give them a ride so it can really be accessible to whatever fitness level. And we'll meet on a Saturday morning and hike up to the hut and then spend two nights together up there. Um, they're all different because everyone just brings themselves, the volunteers, you know, I'll teach meditation on the ones that I'm guiding. Oftentimes we've got yoga therapists or art therapists or, you know, different people with different gifts. So each one can be a little bit different, but mm -hmm. we'll be together, get to know each other. You know, it starts out as strangers by the end of the trip. It's um, people who really understand and love one another. So Stephanie, is it all ages in terms of who can participate on the retreats and the walks? We are, we are adults, so okay. 18 and over. Um, and each year we do host one uh, young adult mm -hmm. retreat that's based on the younger of adults, but, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, 18 and plus. Okay. So Stephanie, as you know, I recently participated as a support volunteer for one, at one of your retreats. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what is it that you need um, from volunteers? Yeah, well, we bring six volunteers on every trip. Mm -hmm. So the needs are basically wanting to provide the, the participants on the trip. We don't let them lift a finger. You know, we, we like to cook for them and clean for them and just let them really relax. So volunteer would be cooking and taking care of things. And I mean, you were actually a volunteer, I so was. I don't know. I didn't cook. <laughs> I did a lot of cleaning. Yeah, I knew that. Expert, expert dish cleaner. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically everything, uh, helping us guide hikes or um, 
some other offering we'll basically see but but we do need volunteers all the time and we also like to have volunteers that lead the walks and hikes and there are lots of ways to get involved and if any part of the organization is interesting or more appealing you know we have volunteers that do our social media or you know mm -hmm. so there's there's a lot of different ways to volunteer but on the specific retreats it's the retreats activities are cooking cleaning hiking carrying packs if someone mm -hmm. needs a pack carried um, I do want to circle back also so while most of our retreats are held at the 10th Mountain mm -hmm. Division huts uh, we do offer huts at, uh, we've been doing them also at the YMCA of the Rockies in Estes Park. Mm -hmm. So that way uh, the, it's at lower altitude and um, you can actually drive to it. There's running water, flushing toilets, That that's a little bit more accessible right. to people who might not want to go yeah, into the I was country. fortunate enough to, <laughs> to, to do the, that retreat, right. running water was nice. Well, fortunate. Fortunate, perhaps, <laughs> but the backcountry ones are pretty yeah. incredible. And I will next yeah, summer. I know. And that's yeah, another question. Now, is this seasonal or how is this just something that you offer in the summertime? Most of our retreats are held between July and September, but we mm -hmm. do hold um, some snowshoe retreats also. Okay. And then the walks and hikes are year round. There's constantly something going on. And how about fundraising? How do you, I mean, how are you paying for the retreats and so forth? Yeah, so the retreats are completely free of charge for all the participants. So we are donation-based and grant-based. Everything helps. Um, we do have some sponsors that are fantastic and we couldn't do it without the, um, the people who believe in our mission and support mm -hmm. us. And we have a gala fundraiser coming up November 2nd. Yes. Last year I went to it. Yeah, it was this fantastic. year too. Right, and this year I will be, I will be there. Yeah. Last year George Carl spoke and yeah. he was very inspiring. Yeah. And so tell me a little bit about what that's going to look like in case there's someone that's interested in attending. Yeah, great. So on November 2nd at Lime Cantina in Denver mm -hmm. uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. we're having our our fundraiser. Uh, we'll have a silent auction and it's just a really beautiful way for our community to come together. Mm -hmm. We'll have some speakers and um, yeah some uh, slideshows and pictures and uh, just really a beautiful evening. So if someone wanted to get involved or if they wanted to purchase tickets for the gala how would yeah. they go about doing that? Yeah well we'd love um, people to get involved and really for all of our events uh, you can go to our website at uh, livebyliving.org and register for anything um, and so if there's a walk that you see that you want to join on either as a survivor a caregiver or as a volunteer we really we welcome you to join us um, and there is also information for our fundraiser on that page if you just scroll to the bottom I think we'll have a link up there too so you'll have all that information uh, but it's all it's all inclusive and you can also fill out uh, at the contact us tab um, and send an email with any questions or whatever you'd like to know. I'd be happy to meet people and speak with them about what we're doing. Perfect. Well, thank you for your time today. Yeah. You're doing an amazing job with Live by Living. I know personally, you know, to watch you all as a volunteer, it was, it was unbelievable and an amazing experience yeah. to, um, to be part of and with the survivors and their caregivers. And thank you. Thanks for being here today. Yeah, thank you.